Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to yet another video. My name is Suleiman. If you're new to my channel, then I would really appreciate your subscription, like the video. And if you have any question regarding this video, my previous videos or my upcoming videos, you can write on the comments below. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for visiting my channel once again. Today's video is about how to protect our gears in extreme weather conditions. As the winter has already arrived, so lots of us are facing the same problem. How to protect our gears? How to protect our camera and equipment like lenses, microphone, monitor. It depends on where do you live. Some of you might uh, have a heavy rain. Some of you might have uh, snow and some might have snow and rain mixed. Uh, for photographer, those who are using only photos, so it's not a big challenge because there are already lots of rain cover uh, and it's so easy you just grab uh, rain cover onto your camera and it will protect your camera and lens, but that's only for uh, those who are taking photos. Uh, but the problem is, uh, especially for those who are using uh, their gears for uh, making videos and specifically for vloggers. Obviously using umbrella is not a good solution and uh, there are lots of videos uh, on YouTube on how to protect your cameras by warping plastic and these plastic zip bag. So that's not a good uh, solution I think. Today, today I will protect or weather seal my uh, camera is I will use plastic warp. So obviously everyone will find them in their kitchen. You need a scissor, gaff tap. I would recommend a gaff tap and any kind of tap. Uh, it's it will work, but uh, they are much stronger. For the sake of this video, I will use my Sony A7 Mark III Sigma 20mm 1.4. The camera is weather sealed, but the lens is not weather sealed and MC11 adapter and obviously it's not uh, with the seal also. And on, and on the top of the camera I attach uh, a Thomas Shinobi. It's one of the best uh, monitor. I will make a review about this one in my upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, for the audio, I will use a wireless uh, mic a wireless system so let's uh, make this weather sealed and use it outside and see how will be the performance and by the way i got a new lens this is lava 10 to 18 mm ultra wide angle lens uh, for sony uh, e-mount full frame uh, cameras i didn't open it yet so i will make a review about this lens so if you like to know more about this lens so press the bell icon in order to be notified on my upcoming videos first we have to remove our monitor So this is my so this is my HDMI cable. I will attach my HDMI cable. it's on focus so it should be on off on so I'm putting it on auto focus but it's not a big problem so you can change it after the warping the plastic on it first thing you have to do is you have to put some gaff tape here Okay. 
so I just cut it, it was out of the frame. I can use, I can put this later on, but that's not a big problem. So now I'm warping it nice. So it's So you have to put some some tap uh, some gaff tap here because it will slip. It will slip. Uh, be careful to not put too much. Okay, later on, because this is a wide lens, if I see like uh, I'm getting this plastic on my field of view, so I can, I can cut it with a scissor. Okay, I will wrap this. You see, you can change the focus to auto and manual. And after that, I tear the gaff tapping to from the middle so just I will make one wrap in order to be more tighter okay that's it now it's the camera section so check let me see if it's microphone okay I I didn't I didn't put the audio check so be careful before wrapping it you have to put all your accessories so it's like So both HDMI and 3.5 mm jack is already inside the camera. So let's see. I turn on the camera. If if I see if it's blocking any any part of my field of view, no. So there's not any problem. And I will I will put some more. Worst. This time I will put it vertically. Put the camera here. That's it. Now it's time to protect uh, the monitor. So I will put this aside, and it's so easy.
I have three sizes of MP batteries. Uh, I will not use this one right now because it's, it will not be easy to change it quickly and obviously I will not use the big one because it will make the setup heavy. So I will use the medium one but uh, mostly if, if it's not raining. So I'm using the small one so I have lots of these so I can change it but still in this monitor this can um, last for almost one hour. It's amazing. And then you have to see the computer work properly. And drop it on the top. So, and then make it like so. Even you don't need to use too much gas tap. You have to cut this out. And now what we will do, we have to slide it in. secure let's turn on the camera so let's turn on even the touch screen is working So, okay guys, so the setup is ready. It's 100% waterproof vlogging camera. And let's test it outside and see the performance. So guys, uh, it's raining now. I have been waiting for the rain like two, three hours. Maybe, you know, sorry, four hours. So now this is the setup. I didn't properly check uh, this camera setting. Uh, yeah. So as far as it looks, as far as it looks in monitor, everything looks fine. Uh, so I'm filming with Osmo Pocket. Right now I'm filming with Osmo Pocket, so this is the Osmo Pocket, just want to show you guys, like, it's, it's, it's raining, it's uh, heavy raining, and everything is so wet. As you can see, it's working fine. Okay, so it's time to walk a little bit in the rain without any fear. So obviously it's, uh, it's now a weather sealed, waterproof complete setup the camera the lens the wireless microphone system it's very sleepy and, and it's heavy rain
you can see the rain the rain is so strong as i told you guys already the winters already are arrived so lots of you guys might have uh, a problem with raining or with snow especially it is something i was coping with i had uh, several rain cover but they were perfectly for my photo shoot but for video none of them are working properly in raining or in snow because of adding lots of gear to the camera like the monitor the audio recorder or the lenses so especially when you're doing vlogging or making travel films and stuff like that so this rain cover will not work they are made only for uh, photography so for photography they are a good option but for filming yeah if you're filming with a tripod putting a camera on a tripod and you're behind the camera yeah there are lots of uh, uh, rain cover they work perfectly but for running gun situation or especially specifically for vloggers there is not any good solution as far as i know if you guys have some better solution uh, i mean a better product so i will really appreciate to share it with me okay guys if you really think this video uh, was sort of helpful to you guys i will really appreciate your subscription to my channel like the video share the video and press the bell icon in order to be notified on my upcoming videos so good night